No, <laughs> often. My snack is like, well, you did it first, Ma. But like I make truffle fries in the air fryer Ooh. and then you just put the oil on it with the little, uh, what is it, Parmesan, is it? Parmesan. Yeah. It's the Parmesan yeah. cheese on it. And whatever else you want. Yeah, really? well, we never, mm-hmm. we just do the cheese for real. Right, and some ketchup. Yeah. yeah. They have a truffle salt that's really good. Salt? Yeah, it's like truffle and parsley salt with truffle and rosemary. Mm-hmm. I used to put it on steak. When did that come mm-hmm. to the menu? Because I'm at Shake Shack often. Oh, no, that's not a Shake Shack. Oh, what? Wait, I just mean in general, at? like to make it. Oh, okay. Grocery store. No, because you told me about the other thing. Uh, the, uh-oh. What is it? I don't want to get canceled. So you say what it. Was it's it? the key. The kim, the oh kimchi, yeah, kimchi, uh-huh. yeah, 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 that right there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we not, <laughs> yeah. we're not about to get canceled today. Yeah, that's that's fermented cabbage. Uh, really? Yeah, and oh, it tastes wow. great. It's like I thought a it had pickle. like onions and stuff in it. Um, I don't know about onions, but I know they put like a ton of vegetables in there. Oh, okay. Well, shoot. Uh, welcome back to a rare moment with Ramon Reed. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, <clears throat> I'm so excited. For this guest that I have today, guys, uh, you know, she's highly anticipated, um, superstar, uh, model, um, actress, um, whatever else you want to call yourself. Model, actress, Crohn's ambassador, okay. and honored hero. Honored hero. Yeah. Okay, we love that. Well, everybody, today we have Jordan Leftwich. Yeah! <laughs> um, I said it right, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Because if I didn't, we need to do another tape. No, it's not um, good. Uh, welcome, welcome to my podcast. How are you today? I'm good. Thank you for having me. I've been waiting for this moment. Are you for real? Yeah, I've been excited. I'm like, ooh. Yeah, I mean, I really, my mom asked me, she was like, well, do you have anything prepared? And I'm not going to lie, I'm not that prepared today. Me neither. I've been, okay, so that's great. We in this together. <laughs> we got it. Because I've been everywhere today. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, last night was crazy. I think I went to sleep at like 3, woke up at 10 something. Real? Oh, yeah, because you came in here, you was like, I'll give you till 10.30. Yeah. yeah, so woke up at 10.30 and I had to run a few errands. Uh, what yeah. you been doing today? Oof, man, I, like like you, mm-hmm. went to sleep at 3 a.m. My mm-hmm. friend called me at like 2 and mm-hmm. I was like, well, guess we here now. Right. Then woke up 7 a.m. Mm. Yeah, I had to stop by my agency. Mm-hmm. They're lovely, you know? What agency so, are you with? Um, here I'm with DT Model Management mm-hmm. in L.A., uh, but in... New York, I'm with Elite Model Management. In mm-hmm. London, I'm with Milk Model Management. Okay, so like, how does that all work? Because those mm-hmm. are like three totally different regions right there. Yeah, so they basically just book in that region. Mm-hmm. Um, and then if they direct book me, then they can book me anywhere. Mm-hmm. What does that mean? Direct booking is like... I'm not a model. You're, you're good, you're good. <laughs> I'm not a model. Honestly, it's like <laughs> acting, too. <laughs> I'll do modeling. Okay. <laughs> it's honestly like acting, where like mm-hmm. they just... Um, like, let's say for Miu Miu, when I was 14, mm-hmm. they were like, okay, so we're booking you on this project, but you're going to fly to Spain. Mm. But they can do all the stuff through them. Mm-hmm. And I think they also helped with Milk, because Milk does London and, like, all of Europe. Milk? Yeah. What What's that? Milk model management. Okay, see? That's, not yeah. a modeler. <laughs> yeah, okay. it's okay. It's okay. Oh, okay. That's, so, that's what's up. So, um, I know you did live in London. For I did. like, how long? <sighs> like, four months, but it got cut short. Oh, why? Yeah. So I actually booked a talkies commercial while I was over there. Mm -hmm. And I was like, you know what? I've done quite a bit of modeling. Let Mm -hmm. me get my foot in acting more. Mm -hmm. So I took the talkies job over something for like H&M. Okay. And they showed up earlier. You took the talkies over H&M? Yes, sir. Wow. I mean, me personally. I would took the H and M just because give me the discount codes. That's all I would. I wish it was like that. Uh huh. I wish it was. For but, real, just pay me a discount codes. Honestly, every time I walk up to the register, I'm like, y'all got some backdoor deals today. They hey. always tell me no. You know what? I wish I could like go into a store and say, hey, so I modeled for y'all. Can I just get it for free? Show the receipts. Something, I have the receipts. Something. Man, <laughs> I walked into the Levi's store a few times. I'm uh-huh. like, do you guys have the shoe campaign yet? Never freaking came out. What? Never came out. Okay, so like, how is that when you do something? Because I know, like, mm-hmm. as far as like acting, um, it's like you can do a scene and it gets cut, and yep. now like you're not even in the project altogether. But when yeah. you do something as far as like uh, whether it's a photo shoot or like mm-hmm. a commercial or whatever, and like that gets cut, yep. I mean, I'm sure you're still compensated, but like, yeah. what sort of emotions do you go through? Oh, see, this is the thing. Mm-hmm. Luckily, I've been modeling for so long, I'm like, mm-hmm. dang, 
Because I'll be super excited for something to come out, mm -hmm. and then I never see it come out. That happened twice. Mm -hmm. Once with Benefit Cosmetics, once with Levi's. Mm -hmm. But then they call me back later to do more castings or whatever. I'm like, mm -hmm. are we going to cut those two, though? But, I mean, all in all, I'm still getting paid at the end of the day. So. That's what I say, because people ask me all the time, like, how do you feel? Like, if mm -hmm. something you did or, like, your favorite scene got cut, and I was <laughs> like, well, my favorite number still came through. They got shipped through the bell. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. The, the corporation still got it. For real. Yeah, for real. Um, well, I want to, uh, let's jump into it. Okay. Crohn's disease. Oh, you yes. You have it. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. Tell me what it is. Crohn's disease is an inflammatory bowel disease. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. I think it's pretty rare, but mm -hmm. honestly, as I'm spreading awareness for it, I'm seeing a lot more people with it. Mm -hmm. um, hmm. It's like really bad stomach aches when mm. i was in a flare-up i like to describe it as burning lava in my um, belly button mm. but you know you get all the gross stuff mm. vomiting diarrhea nausea fatigue weight loss mm -hmm. the whole spectrum so like finding foods to eat mm. incredibly difficult oh so there's certain foods that can like trigger yeah. uh, a crohn's flare-up yeah oh, yeah so, so like, like what cheese are those for you? definitely shouldn't be eating it but eh. cheese yeah because it's inflammatory cheese? Okay. Yeah. Cheese is an inflammatory? Yeah. Shoot, I'm all inflamed up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm inflamed up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No I did pizza. Not do that. Okay. Just found so, out you have yeast. Yeah, I know as far as me, like I have sickle cell. Yeah. And people often ask me, like, Ramon, like, how do you feel about talking about sickle cell? And mm -hmm. I have no problem talking about it, mm -hmm. but I do have a problem when I feel as if people uh use that to label me in a certain way yeah so like do you feel with having crohn's like people mm -hmm. are like oh you're this ambassador for it mm -hmm. but like let's label you as this you know? um i would love it mm -hmm. you know because i've done so much work in modeling and now mm -hmm. i'm trying to do a ton of work in acting because mm -hmm. i really want to be an actor too mm -hmm. so i want to spread awareness for it but i don't want that to be my main thing Okay, I understand that because yeah. I'm, I'm working on some projects right now mm -hmm. and I'm really like diving into how do I really feel about sickle cell because it, it was something yeah. I was born with. So it's not, it, it's always been a part of my life, mm -hmm. but it's like, how does Ramon, like the person feel about it and mm -hmm. not just like, oh, okay, I was born with this. This is my reality. True. So now I'm going through a process of trying to separate like how I feel about the disease that I have mm -hmm. apart from just like coping with it you know yeah is crohn something you're born with or it just like it's autoimmune okay so technically yeah but then mm -hmm. it only showed up a few years later okay when did you find out that you had it honestly it's all a blur because mm -hmm. i was going through such a bad flare-up mm -hmm. and i'm i've been a dramatic person my entire life okay so i'm like they i have a practice it. yes i'm like <laughs> i have a stomach ache like y'all <laughs> exactly i'm like uh -huh. y'all y'all it's really bad it's uh -huh. really bad but no one really understood how bad it was mm -hmm. until like I really started losing weight and everything and mm -hmm. then it started to show or mm -hmm. I couldn't finish school work because mm -hmm. of it stuff like that so I want to say it was when I was like 13 we okay. might have diagnosed it mm -hmm. uh maybe 12 so that was like 2019 okay yeah so like what has been your darkest moment like going through uh, especially with Crohn's because yeah. like I I have a very vivid moment like that I went through with sickle cell mm -hmm. I was like this is this is different than yeah. what I've ever been through. So, like, what was that moment for you? Mm, probably, there's, like, two moments. It was mm -hmm. when I really had my main flare-up. Mm -hmm. One day, I woke up, and, like, this was a time, like, I couldn't eat anything. And I was mm -hmm. losing weight. I was 80 pounds at 5'7", mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. So, I woke up one day, and I started vomiting blood. Mm -hmm. And that's when I knew, I'm like, yo, I gotta go to the hospital. Yeah. That's it. Because, you know, a lot of people don't want to go to the hospital. No one wants to, you know, right. say, something's wrong with you. Mm -hmm. Um, so it was the time that I threw up blood in the morning and then it was also when they were transferring me to a hospital bed mm -hmm. I felt like all these like pins and needles in my legs. Mm -hmm. So whenever they would move me I like couldn't speak I could just like scream and say no like stop moving me Wow, that's insane. It's very yeah. it sounds very similar to sickle cell to me because like pain wise because mm -hmm. like when I well I went through like this big crisis that I'm I won't get into, mm -hmm. but it was just like, even if the wind blew a certain way, I was like, ah, that yeah. we can't do that. Yeah. So like, it was a point where I couldn't go outside. I had to like go through mm -hmm. like months of physical therapy and learn how to walk again. Yeah. Um, do you feel like it's like aided you in being who you are mm -hmm. today? 100%. Mm -hmm. 100%. 
I was always like, I don't know. I felt like everyone needed a struggle story. And mm-hmm. at one point, I'm like, hmm, I wonder what my struggle story is going to be. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I got <laughs> there it. There it goes. <laughs> I definitely uh-huh. got it. Uh-huh. Um, yeah. And then, I'm not going to lie. This sounds so horrible. And this mm-hmm. really shows when you manifest, the stuff is real. Mm-hmm. Again, dramatic child. Mm-hmm. Okay, keep that in mind. Nope. It's right there. You remember when kids would leave school early because they had doctor's appointments? Yeah. Or they wouldn't have to stand up all day because they were in a wheelchair, as mm. horrible as it sounds? Uh-huh. I, I used to think, I'm like, hmm, man, I wonder if one day like, I could just have something so I don't have to go to school. Wow. I want to be the sick kid? <laughs> Is that what you You just like, I want to be the sick kid. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I would, like, maybe I can just like have something and then nobody uh-huh. will. That's crazy. So I accidentally manifested <laughs> myself something. with a disease. <laughs> Maybe I can have something and get recess all day today. That'll be nice. Well, I mean, I did graduate school early because of it, so. See? High school early? Yeah. Oh, come on, hey. hey. That'd be up, twin. Come hey. on. So Remember, I saw when you graduated school yeah, early and you, it was ongoing. Yeah. It, yeah. That's your child. <laughs> See, this is the problem. As soon as individuals get into the house who is not the family, he starts acting out. That's my dog. Yeah. Oh, what type of dog do you have? Rescue, pit, bully, something. boxer, something. I know, you? because I got to rescue something, too. I, I, rescue exotic. <laughs> exotic. <laughs> He's an exotic rescue. He's definitely exotic with a lot of sass. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah it's nice. a uh, two-man show. Uh-huh. Two-man show. That's right. Get there you go. Wedding, yeah. That's all you um, need. Yeah. That's all you uh, need. Mom right here. Yes. Y'all can't mother. see her, but she's right here. Okay. Mm-hmm. Dripped out in red today on oh, Friday. Orange. Yes. Yeah. Orange, is it? Yeah. Sunset orange? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Is it really? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. So, uh, mom, support system, foundation. Yeah. Uh, how has she helped you in like achieving what you have so far? I, man, look, so much mm-hmm. between her moving me to Los Angeles by mm-hmm. ourselves when I was in third grade, mm-hmm. to like going through moments where you know money was a little funny. It was, it was money was a little funny. It's funny. Money was a little funny. Yeah, but not um, really. Yeah, <laughs> no, <laughs> not really. Not funny though. Yeah. Um, uh-huh. you know, moving in different places just yeah. to make sure I get you know a good school yeah. because in Chicago I had a really good school system and mm-hmm. then I come out here and everything's completely different. Yeah. Um, with my health, oh my God, this woman was in the hospital running the numbers by herself, going back to eighth grade algebra, oh, just wow. to figure out what was going on because the mm-hmm. doctors wouldn't communicate with each other. Mm-hmm. So ultimately, in my mind, the woman saved my life, like multiple times. Um, the woman as in your mom? Yeah. Okay, that woman. Yeah. Okay. I'm trying not to make it too emotional because I know uh-huh. she's getting emotional. Because uh-huh. that's just how she is. Okay. She, she's a little bean. She's so cool. <laughs> but yeah. That's what's up. Um, yeah. I could say the same about my mom. However, we, we have a lot of discord sometimes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, do y'all have a lot of discord oh, in yeah. your house? Oh, we real sassy. Oh, for real? (laughs) Yeah, we real Uh sassy. Uh Uh-oh. Yeah. But we be having discord about things that really don't matter, though. Exactly. They just be like, Mom, move the couch over this way a little bit, please. (laughs) I told you it would look good over there. (laughs) Yeah. It's stuff like that. Yeah, like literally yesterday, Uh she ordered some food for me, Uh and they didn't put enough um, sauce on it because it was Harold's. Okay. I don't know if you've had Harold's, but they're notorious notorious Mm -hmm. yeah they're known Mm -hmm. for um being real stingy on things Mm -hmm. you know they're not the most professional food place but that's what makes it yummy um so they didn't put mild sauce on it so i'm like (laughs) you didn't order with the sauce on it and she's like no i got the sauce with it they just didn't put it on there i'm like oh "Oh." so you just have the buffalo and i just don't wow (laughs) now you're going back and forth about what she has and what you don't (laughs) yeah and i end up taking her sauce because she had buffalo too oh see i do the same thing yeah and this is to the day I die, too. You can be 60. I'm still eating off your plate now. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Actually, no. She eats off my plate now. Because I know how to cook. Oh. No offense. No I offense. Did, I, she know how to cook. See, I knew I, you was about to say that. Uh-uh. <laughs> no, let's not yeah. do that. We went to, okay. We went to see The Lion King last night. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, we, we was at the stage door and like, I, I was on The Lion King before, so I was talking to some of the, my previous castmates. And they was like, Ramon, do you know how to cook? I said, yes, because I cook, what did I cook? Little two, four, 
I cooked five eggs yesterday Ooh. with green. Hold on, listen, listen, y'all. Five eggs mm-hmm. with green bell peppers and uh, red onions. That's and, and Kobe Jack cheese. That's a lot. That's like an omelet, right? Pretty much a little bit, but it is still scrambled. Oh, scramble. Okay, yeah, that's, that's fun. Lot. Are you yeah. more advanced than I am? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> like how? What? What uh, tier are we talking about? Ah. Uh... I wouldn't say, you know what? I wouldn't say restaurant, but okay. like I get real creative with what oh, I can you, do. You make a presentation. Yes, I, every time. Presentation okay. is key. Okay. Um, not too long ago, I made mini lasagnas. Mm-hmm. No recipe. I just, you know, I guessed. It was good enough for me. It was pretty yummy. Then um, before I used to make turnip fries, carrot fries. What are we doing? You know, got to stay away from the carbs sometimes. What? Yeah. So um, one time I even made a breakfast sandwich mm-hmm. but instead of buns it mm-hmm. was turkey sausage patty that i like made with the ground turkey myself and then i put the egg in the middle it was like a little omelet and then wait avocado. wait wait so the you meat is on the out. outside <laughs> yeah and then you put the eggs and the avocado on the inside yeah no carb i gotta get creative with what i got do you do you got a little ebook i can look at Oh, this well, like I mean, something. all of the highlights are on my Instagram because I had put like a little chef time when I was really getting into the cooking. I don't, I don't really be on the social media like that. That's fair. It looks like I yeah. am, but I'm really not. That's fair. Yeah. I don't want to be on it, but I have to. Okay. Because of? Work. Oh, I understand. As much as they say it doesn't help, it does. It does. Because literally, I was at a fitting mm-hmm. um, a day ago. Mm-hmm. And they're like, oh, yeah, when we were um, putting the clothes together for your character, we looked at what you wear. I'm like, what? what? <laughs> right. <laughs> like, what this do you a mean? totally different person. Yeah. I'm uh, like, so you stalked my Instagram? Yeah. So uh-huh. now I'm like, shoot. Number one, I have to put my cute outfits out there. <laughs> and, <laughs> and number two, I have to dress the way I want my characters to be. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, oh, my God, I can't dress Disney. But that's exactly why I don't like social media because like, yeah. especially in like the field that we're in, I feel as if like everything has to be so manufactured to the point where it's mm-hmm. all intentional. And I just like really putting out like authentic content. Yeah. Um, so it's like, I and, and I don't post a lot of pictures. Um, yeah. I don't take a lot of pictures either. I just like yeah. experience in the moment for real. Yeah. Like we should be taking pictures right now. See? Oh, you right. Oh. Here you go. Okay. I like the car videos you do, though. The car videos? Yeah, those are funny. I need. Should I start Every, those back up? Yeah. Talks about these car videos. Yeah, a little mean, tripod, you know. Yeah, I mean, what I mostly do, I just put it in the little car, uh, the car, the car mount, car yeah, thing. Yeah, something. And I just record because sometimes I'll be in traffic and just something hits me and I gotta get it out. It's funny. I have to get it out. It's really freaking funny, honestly. Yeah. If you don't become I don't want to say Kevin Hart, but like you. Everywhere I go. I know. I can't escape. I know. I'm sorry. But if you don't Cannot become escape. like the next you in that capacity, the, I'm going to be extremely okay. upset. The next me, you. Kevin Hart. Not. <laughs> <laughs> Just me, Evan something. Hart, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Something, something like, that. like that. Okay. Yeah. So at what age did you get into modeling? Five. Five. Five years old. Okay. So when did it really start to pick up for you? Five years old. Okay. So I started heavy. Okay. I, I was the same real way. Heavy. I started at 11 mm-hmm. and it was like six months and then I was on tour. And then like from there, it just never stopped. Well, dang. Yeah. You started musical theater, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, I did. Mm-hmm. I want to go back to it. Really? Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Like like film is good mm-hmm. and TV, that's nice, but it's just something about it. Like the energy, mm-hmm. every, like you're saying the same words, but like everything just different every night because like different yeah. people are seeing it. You know, um, like, do you have any aspirations to do to do musical theater? <clears throat> <laughs> I mean, or theater. Um, it don't have to be musical. I did theater once mm-hmm. when I was younger because it was in school and you mm-hmm. naturally have it. Mm-hmm. Um, I was just never there for it, mm-hmm. really. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I mean, I think it'd be cool, mm-hmm. but for some reason, I feel like film would just be more fun for me. I understand. Like, for me, I, it's just like I attract musical theater. Like, it's not like I wanted to do it. It's just like it just keeps coming to me. I feel that. Yeah. That's me with modeling. Yeah. I didn't ask for it. Yeah. I didn't. I just did a pageant because someone mm-hmm. wanted me to. Mm-hmm. And I was like, that could be fun. I like dresses. I yeah. have a video of me looking devilish in a dress. I don't know what was going on with me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> a picture, video, something. Yeah. Um, 
And then, like, a picture got sent over to someone at Kohl's, mm-hmm. and they were like, I want her. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, I didn't ask for any of it. Yeah. Um, so people are like, hey, how'd you get into that? I mm-hmm. want to get into it. I can tell you how, mm-hmm. but my way isn't going to work unless you're five years old. Right. But your way isn't going to work for anybody else because nope. it's your way. Exactly. So because, like, you just keep attracting these modeling projects, gigs, whatever you would like to call them, mm-hmm. like, do you feel like that solidifies your purpose in some way? Because that's oh, what dang. you keep attracting. God, that's deep. Yeah. 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 I feel like... Honestly, I feel like adding the crones in with everything... Mm-hmm more so solidifies my purpose Mm -hmm. because in everything i do it's like okay you're doing something but like what are you really doing right and then adding the spreading awareness with Mm -hmm. everything i feel like that's actually making a difference Mm -hmm. so i'm like well no one else is out here spreading crohn's awareness and all that so hey yeah i haven't seen that um i mean like as far as me i feel like because people be like find your purpose and like stick to it but I feel like purpose is ever so changing yeah. because, I mean, well, it should be ever so changing yes. because you're ever so changing. Yeah. Um, especially, I feel like all of your purposes are within you, but you just have to discover them. Like me, mm-hmm. as I'm like getting older, I'm discovering things that like I've never thought of when I was 11, 10, 9 yep. um, that I find like passion in now. Are, are you doing the same? Yeah. What are some yeah. of those things, if you know? Mm, well, I know I always wanted to get a platform so then I could return the favor and kind of mm-hmm. help other people mm-hmm. so i've always had like the passion for oh my gosh i want to help dogs mm-hmm. and stuff like that but now i'm like wait i can spread awareness towards people with crohn's mm-hmm. and i can help with different animals i can mm-hmm. eventually help single mothers and things mm-hmm. like that like that's the type of stuff i want to eventually be doing i hear a lot of like humanitarian-esque things from you right now oh I mean, it's just natural that's it's what i've been wanting to do okay i understand yeah. Um, for every episode, I have yeah. a, a topic, right? Ooh, fun. Yeah, I was in the shower a couple minutes ago, mm-hmm. and I think my topic today is going to be reluctance. Um, mm. So please tell me of any time you were reluctant. I'm sure in like the uh, the modeling world is very competitive. Mm. Um, you have to look a certain way, walk a certain way, be mm. a certain way, navigate the world in a certain manner. Yep. So um, what is one area that you were reluctant in and mm. you may have pushed past that reluctancy and like discovered a whole different uh, stratosphere? Yeah. Or, you know, just let me know. Yeah. When I was, I want to say 14, 15-ish. Yeah. Um, I went through this time where I was starting to gain my weight back Mm -hmm. and instead of being a zero to two Mm -hmm. size, I started to get into a four to six, Mm -hmm. almost an eight. Mm -hmm. And once you're past a four in modeling, you're now considered plus size. Mm -hmm. So my agency was asking, they're like, Hey, what do you want to do? Once you pass a four? Yep. Yep. You heard it right. So. You plus? mm Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yep. Uh Uh-huh. So. Once I got to that point where I was in between like a six and a four, my mm-hmm. agency was like, hey, what do you want to do? We can supply you with, you know, a trainer, a mm-hmm. nutritionist, everything. Mm-hmm. But if you're not getting to that size zero to two, mm-hmm. you may just have to be plus size. What do you want to do? Mm-hmm. And it was hard for me to switch over. I didn't want to, you know, necessarily be a plus size model because I knew I wouldn't get as much work. Yeah. But I knew realistically I'd rather be healthy. Mm-hmm. And maybe make it more normal to be a quote unquote plus size model and maybe mm-hmm. change that to just being a normal model mm-hmm. than be unhealthy and sad and depressed at a size zero to two where I can't even eat. Mm-hmm. There you go. I understand that. Wow. Four is crazy though. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. I, I might be. What, 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 <laughs> what you think I am? Let's see. What you, what you think? <laughs> I'm a size two. Yeah. You think yeah. so? You good. Okay. Okay. Oh, but I don't think I could ever like, mm-hmm. especially runway modeling. I don't think I could. <laughs> okay. Come on, yeah. Runway mm-hmm. modeling. Yes. I don't think I could ever do it. I, I feel as if I'm too short. Mm-hmm. Uh, don't you think? Yeah. Yeah. Like, <laughs> due to the constraints and yeah. rules. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I thought so. Yeah. Um, you got to be, if you're a dude, I'd mm-hmm. probably say like six one six two they don't mm. want you to be too tall which mm. is funny same thing with women five eight two five eleven maybe six foot if you're lucky uh-huh. but six one is too tall six over six one is too tall 
Yeah, over I would say over six foot is too tall for women. Okay, so but then when you short? go into the non-binary aspect, mm-hmm. I personally have no idea. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. me. <laughs> but let's go ahead and put that up in the book. Ramon is the standard of too short to runway model. Um, so you moved out here when you were how uh, old? Third grade. Okay. So what is that? that? Seven? Like seven? No, six? that's eight. eight. I think that's it's eight. like six. Six? Oh, six eight. is first grade. Oh, shoot. So you, you I don't tell. know We don't anymore. be going to real school. Lord, <laughs> I, I was homeschooled for the past three years. Yeah, see, that's why we don't be in the real school like that. <laughs> we be online. Okay, so uh, when you guys moved out here, yes. um, let's talk about the challenges that you faced. Mm-hmm. Because um, L.A. is crazy. Um, yeah. It's so much going on, and uh, so many things can happen so fast. So, mm-hmm. like, what challenges did you face? Well, it's actually funny because when I went to L.A., everything Mm. slowed down Mm. because I was too tall to be in the kids division Mm -hmm. and I was too short to be in the adults division or Mm -hmm. too young to be in the adults division. Mm. So it was like this odd period where I was literally just a normal kid doing normal things Mm -hmm. um, while other kids were probably working and like doing their thing. I just couldn't. Mm -hmm. And then I also wasn't really acting yet Mm -hmm. because if I go back to that reel that I made when I was younger, mm -hmm. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I know. Mm-hmm. I, know. Mm-hmm. I got one of those. It I is so bad. Yeah. Like, I, I was talking about some, like, I was supposed to be a bully, which is completely mm-hmm. opposite of my personality. Mm-hmm. And it was like, when I ask for lunch, oh. you better say cheese or pepperoni. <laughs> <laughs> like, it was so bad. <laughs> Yo. So, <laughs> yeah, acting wasn't really working back then. Mm-hmm. Um, so I was just going in between schools trying mm-hmm. to find one that I was um, fitting into. Because the first one I went into, they said, you should just skip a grade. Um, that wasn't rocking with mama. Uh-huh. See, okay, <laughs> let's pause right there. Mm-hmm. Because I could, I say this all the time. I could have skipped the grade and finished even earlier. But she said no. Because she felt like I would get bullied. That's what she said. Because Man. I was exactly i almost right? said something a little off the rails exactly well, we know <laughs> we know but that wasn't gonna happen but that's okay you know. it's all right. yeah but yeah everything yeah. happens for a reason of course yeah um, if anything they're all jealous and then they say that my personality trait is graduating early which I'm okay with, honestly. Yeah. I'll let that be. You not. You still in school, ain't you? Exactly. Yeah, right. Dang, how did that test go last week? Yeah, shoot. <laughs> I, I don't even think they out yet. I don't even have my phone. They can't be out yet. That's 345 they get out, I think. Yeah, they got a couple more hours. I don't know anymore. And it's, what's, what, Friday? Yeah. Because yeah. one of the days they get out early, I don't know anymore. Get. It doesn't matter to us. Doesn't matter to <laughs> it us. doesn't matter to us. That's all I'm saying. Oh, man. Um, but no, I was just, just to go back to what you was talking about, I was yeah. just talking about that on my Instagram. Mm-hmm. Just like feeling like when you're around all of these people who seem to be experiencing success mm-hmm. and like you make a, a big leap of faith or you go out on a limb to do something that you love. Yep. And um, it just feels like everything stops. And it's, yeah. um, it's depressing. Um, it can be. Yeah, uh, I've I've actually gone through a moment where I was like, I I know, I how can I say this? Uh, you know, you're I know well. you're good. I'm, ah, ooh, that's I know I'm good. There you go. Gooder than others. There I'm you good. go. <laughs> I know I'm gooder. gooder. You're a goodie. <laughs> yeah. You show your education. Yeah, yeah I know. <laughs> but, good, better, bad. Yeah, but I know, like I'm on a other level than mm-hmm. others and it seems like uh you know they may be just experiencing more than what i am and meeting yeah. people who i would love to meet and yeah. uh it's just like why you know mm-hmm. um and i don't know how did i get through that i just had to stop caring like yeah. it took me it took me a a while to stop caring especially like mm-hmm. coming out here when i first came out here to like uh film the disney channel tv show mm-hmm. uh and and, and at some point, I got, like, very insecure about, like, just my size in general. I was in acting mm. class, and I started crying. And I was like, yeah, I just feel like I'm smaller than everybody else. <laughs> That's so uh, good for acting, though. Yeah, it is. It's amazing. Mm-hmm. I feel but, like I'm too tall for acting sometimes. Really? Yeah. No, I don't think so. Raise <laughs> oh, the camera up, y'all. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Don't get us in a two-shot, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. 
Yeah. <laughs> I mean, speaking of two shots, I yeah. did a music video mm-hmm. once, and you know, I'm supposed to be the love interest, and oh. like, you know how that goes. Yeah. So it was you this. Just clo- did it. That right it there. Was like- <laughs> that right there. You, you just did it. <laughs> so it was a close up uh-huh. shot. This was the first time I was ever that close to a dude's uh-huh. face. And we were like here, mm-hmm. like two inches away okay. from each other's face. Mm-hmm. And I was, I, we were probably the same height. I might have been like an inch taller. Mm-hmm. So they put him on a few stacks. Okay, I was probably taller than that. Uh, oh my God, I was this much taller? Uh-oh. I was like four <laughs> inches taller than him. So I was like four inches taller than okay. him. I'm not going to say names because I don't okay. want to embarrass him. Okay. Um, but they put a few stacks of paper on mm-hmm. the floor for him to stand on. Mm-hmm. And then he was like an inch taller than me after that. Yeah, that's overboard. Mm-hmm. That, to me, that's overboard. I mean, yep. even like, even the the shoes that be having like the two inch heels on them. Although I do want to get some, just for the style. Some of platforms. It all. Yeah. Yeah, maybe platform I, boots. Yeah, I want to get some platforms and like the Prince heels. Okay. Yeah, okay. I want to get the Prince heels and like wear a coat with no shirt underneath. That's what I aspire do to. Do you? Wow. Yeah, huh? Have a fun time. No, I just like no. I feel like like when I get rich, right? Okay. I just okay. really want to. <laughs> I just really. <laughs> but this is the thing. Why wait? Right. Why wait? I. Ah. Cause like this is the thing. Ah. I realize I'm like you know what I could mm. wait until I feel super successful to dress how I want, or mm. I could just do it now. Personally, I like big shoes, which okay. I'm wearing now. Yeah. I like you how Billy. <laughs> yeah. I like how Billy Eilish used to like layer all of her necklaces. So mm. I'm starting to do that now because mm. I really like it. Just like random stuff and shoot. I was scared <clears throat> of wearing pink for the longest time because I'm like, it's so girly. Like, I don't want to look too girly. Mm-hmm. Forget that. I want to look girly. I wear pink all the time. I love I pink. I love pink. It's great. Yeah. I Shoot, I might start wearing a wig like Anderson Pat. Oh. He, yeah, for real. Wait, he wore a wig? Mm-hmm. This all the time. time. I thought it was real. No. that No. He didn't have a silk press? No. It's, it's a wig. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. <laughs> no, it's a wig. <laughs> Yeah, oh it's a wig. He wears it all the time. And I'm like, that is just so genius to me. Wow. It's like, it, it fits him too. I think whatever event we go to next, uh, I'm in a wig. Okay. I don't know what it is, but I'm in a wig. I want to learn how to wear a wig. Like, I want to try it. Oh, I like, thought you just put it on for real. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hold on, mama. <laughs> she stole mine. That was mine. Oh, that's yours? Yes. <laughs> Oh, anyway, shoot. I thought that was yours. I said she walked in with this horse mane. I want to figure out that lace front situation so I can just bust out on a pink wig one day. Yeah. Get like a 30 inch bust down, you know? Uh, I feel that. Yeah. I feel that. Men get lace fronts now. They do. How do you feel about it? Mm. See, I don't know. You know what? If that's something that you're into, that uh-huh. is great for you. Mm-hmm. And that is something I may not be into, so we may just separate ways on the mm-hmm. yellow brick road. I understand. But just like for those folks who may be going bald and they yeah. just got a weird head. It's like, ah, man. Yeah. Hats. Got a weird head. Hats. Hats. True. But they want hair, though. Then they can have it. I'm all about, like, supporting, especially black men. I'm all about supporting black men. But I feel as if, like, it goes a little too far when it's like, hey, bro, you just put 360 waves on top of your head. That's a little crazy, don't you think? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a little wild. Maybe having an ocean up there. Yeah. Spin it. Talk about it. I'm spinning. <laughs> it's going to come off in two weeks. Yeah, let's, <laughs> let's relax. Oh, my goodness. Mm-hmm. I would just be scared for, like, the glue to come off a little bit. Mm-hmm. And, like, I don't know. Yeah, I've seen some, uh, oh, oh, I can't say who, but I've seen some bad some bad laces. Is really? It? Oh, yeah. I don't think I've seen it in real life yet. Oh, it's scary. <laughs> what, what they say? Jump scare. <laughs> oh, jump scare. Yeah, yeah, it's bad. Um, so, like, uh, as far as fashion, right? Yeah. How did you go about, like, just developing your style, curating, like, mm-hmm. what you want to wear now? Um, <laughs> <laughs> what's going on, y'all? <laughs> they hey. cracking up. <laughs> hey, y'all. <laughs> no. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh my. Hold on. Okay. Wow. Don't mind. But no, uh, how did you go about just like developing your style now, mm-hmm. you know, and um, just being un- unapologetically yourself? Yeah. So it took a minute. Mm-hmm. Definitely took a minute because I wasn't like comfortable in my body or anything like yeah. that. 
Um, and then there was this phase in middle school. I had I had like two phases. Okay. Right? You know, you have the emo phase. Yeah. I, where I wore like a plain shirt and like black jeans, mm-hmm. maybe a fake nose ring. It was bad. Oh. It was bad. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I had the phase where I was trying to follow trends. Mm-hmm. So I would kind of dress how my friends would dress, mm-hmm. which was following trends. And they were like, why are you always trying to copy me? Mm. And I think that one did it for me. I'm like, I'm not trying to copy you. Right. So from then on, I wore whatever the fudge I wanted. Okay. But then again, I always kind of wore what I wanted. Mm-hmm. I even had my bow phase, like Jojo Siva. Oh. But I was in dance. I went to Abby Lee Dance Studio, so like. Abby Lee. I did. Oh, I I know. <laughs> it, the two main ones are Abby Lee and um um Debbie Allen. Debbie Allen. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. So I I'm not sure what Abby Lee looked like. Mm-hmm. But uh, how was that? It was fun. Okay. That. Yep. Okay. Oh, I get it. Yeah. She had a good time. Abby. It was lovely. Yeah. She had a lovely. Oh, I mm-hmm. see. It took me a minute to catch on. Yeah. I see. What, yeah. She had a great time. Everyone Abby. loved me. Oh, yeah. Little what, old me. What age were, uh, was you at, Abby? Uh, sixth grade. Mm-hmm. So I assume 10, 11. Mm-hmm. Something like that. Yeah, eleven, twelve ish. Yeah, yeah, preteens, uh-huh. preteens. Oh, I just remember the story. I would love to hear. It. My mom, my mom knows exactly what I'm talking about. So, okay. it was after a competition. Mm-hmm. Okay, everyone was going to Olive Garden after this, okay. and it was me and this girl's birthday weekend. It was like my birthday was before, her birthday was after. We mm-hmm. were there the weekend in between. So the parents are sweet. You know, they mm-hmm. order us two Olive Garden desserts. Oh. Tell me why. Mm -hmm. This girl, I'm going to ask, hey, what you guys looking at? Oh, don't worry, don't worry. I see it's a dessert menu. Listen, I'm a fatty at heart. Okay. I love me some food now. Okay. Uh So I'm like, oh, what you guys doing? They, you know, shut me out. Mm -hmm. Next thing you know, oh, shoot. Anyway, next thing you know, some desserts come around the corner. Mm -hmm. And they're like, oh, happy birthday, guys. Hold on. What do you mean? What do you mean? They were two birthday desserts and then this girl had the nerve to say oh no it's my half birthday so it was for me it's not a real day exactly (laughs) exactly so she took my birthday dessert Uh and no one apologized she took my birthday dessert and then my mom was like hey sweetie that's not a nice thing to do it was her actual birthday Uh she's like well it was my half birthday so it's fine see me personally i've had a grudge from that Mm -hmm. ever since you know, oh, oh, I've had, I've had, it's not a similar experience, but an experience that I haven't let go of yet that you mm-hmm. just provided me of. Yep. So, uh. At least some trauma out here. Oh, we, we about to. Let's mm-hmm. go ahead and break it. A white girl. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> let, yeah, let's break the ice. <laughs> let's, let's break the ice. I think, I think this is why I'm, yeah. <laughs> I think this is why, uh, shoot, this might be why I'm really not attracted to uh, white women as as is, right? Um, I just love melanin. Anyway. There you um, go. Love it. I was in sixth grade. This is my last year in school. I, mm. After this, I was really done. I was in sixth yeah. grade. It was sixth grade for me, too. Sorry, oh, That's Karen. crazy. Okay, mm-hmm. so I was sitting at the lunch table. I'm vibing out my best friend at the time. Mm-hmm. Um, it was his girlfriend. So, you know, we just Ooh. sitting there talking and you having a good time. Mm-hmm. And something happened. And this, this girl spat on me. Oh, she spat on me. That's it. We're throwing hands now. I'm yeah. not very, you know, violent. Even though She's, I do practice mixed martial arts, but at that point, we gotta we, throw a hand. We about to get into that. Okay, okay. that's fine. Uh, but yeah, she spat on me. Oh my god, I haven't let that go. You shouldn't. Oh. Did you tell anyone? Did you, you know? No, I haven't. Oh my goodness, I and it sucks because you couldn't, know. you know. Yeah, I couldn't because yeah, then, like, now then, I'm the one in the room. Because, yeah. you know, oh, oh, this black boy hit me. Yeah, oh, here then we go. it's like, oh, no. Yeah, Expelled. Yeah, right, exactly. Um, mixed martial arts. Yes. Why'd you get into it? Um, Number one, there was a crazy mom mm-hmm. circling the area of entertainers. Okay. Um, so I was like, Couple you know those. what? Oh, yeah. yeah. So I was like, you know what? Let me just make sure I'm safe because mm-hmm. I know she is willing to <laughs> get down and dirty. So. <laughs> hey. Hey. Cool. Hey. I know. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Yeah. yeah. So um, it was mainly that. And mm-hmm. then you never know if she's going to like tell the daughter, you know, yeah. hey, mm-hmm. get her. Even though mm-hmm. I don't do nothing. 
nothing. I right. be minding my business. For real. Um, that and then you know people are crazy. Yeah. And uh, I am a model, so you know my face is my work. Right. My face yeah. is my money. So mm -hmm. if anyone touches it, uh, yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> yeah, that's a yeah, yeah exactly. Ooh, ah, you mm -hmm. know, just that's a that's a little bit of time out. Yeah. So that and then it's a great stress reliever mm -hmm. you know sometimes you just get angry you know, yeah. some people punch walls that's a lot yeah that's, that's, a, lot. <laughs> that's a lot <laughs> but um i feel like it's nice you know even mm -hmm. if you know your mom gets on your nerves you can just say okay i'm going to mma now See, pop, pop, pop. i just Kick i just go in the on face. walks oh yeah i really want to do boxing but it's just like I, everyone does boxing yeah you so should maybe, do mma I was about to ask. Yep. So you suggest like a martial arts sort mm -hmm. of sport. Because this is the thing. Everyone does boxing. Yeah. I swear to God, I feel like everyone copied me. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. But it's like when I started posting it, everyone was like, oh, I'm going to do a boxing class. Now tell right. me this. Everybody not doing interested. boxing and hot yoga. All right now, y'all. This is getting too LA. Tell me it's not interesting. Yeah. So I was like, you know what? I was going to do boxing. But mm -hmm. then I'm like, I have these long legs. Mm -hmm. Why don't I use them? I understand that. So now I get to kick people in the head. See, I don't have that advantage. It's so okay. Maybe I need something with more of like pressure points. <laughs> <laughs> what y'all think? Like, Krav Maga? Hey, don't get something. Don't, yeah. don't, hey, hey, bro, don't get close. Don't Just get like, close. Hey, uh, hey, hey. Now he's sleeping for 10 minutes. You see what I'm saying? He's, he's sleeping for the next 10 minutes. He don't know what did happen. I mean, he touched my neck and he's, he's gone. Yeah, yep. okay. it's like let me get your wrist really quick. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> let me shake your hand. <laughs> no, no, that's what's up. Um, well, just to circle back around, yeah. uh, reluctancy. Uh, mm -hmm. I love to like sort of wrap it up with yeah. the uh, topic. Um, as far as me like acting, mm -hmm. um, there's been multiple times where I've been reluctant in to, mm -hmm. to post something to uh, yeah. go into an audition, um, uh, especially in modeling. Like, do mm -hmm. you audition? For that is there um sometimes there's castings mm -hmm. um and you know you can feel reluctant going in there because mm -hmm. they literally look you up and down yeah i've had times where they measured me mm -hmm. right they i walked in they measured me i wasn't like five nine mm -hmm. and they looked me up and down and said thank you that was it wow yeah so okay. it's not so, amazing so in a industry that's so aesthetic based how do mm -hmm. you keep your real Mm -hmm. self you know well luckily people i've noticed people like my personality because mm -hmm. i'm just like you're a great person oh thank you yeah, you're welcome. but i'm like a, like a goofball mm -hmm. situation i don't mm -hmm. know something like that so people have typically like my personality since i'm young mm -hmm. now i feel if i was like 18 to 20 mm -hmm. and i give them my personality they're gonna be like what are you doing why are you acting stupid get changed and then, <laughs> and then that might be you know a situation yeah <clears throat> but um honestly just being nice to everyone on set typically yeah. does pretty well i mean every time i've um done acting people have told my mom oh my god you raised such a good child mm -hmm. and i'm like wow what what could these kids be doing right Th if i'm saying the same thing because i'm just, just say thank you and sir and ma'am exactly it's I'm that like, simple I'm yeah. just asking how your day is. What, yeah. What are these? <laughs> what did you do last night? <laughs> right? I'm yeah. like, how was your day yesterday? Yeah. You know? But, I mean, hey, I just kind of be me. Because if I don't, mm -hmm. then I'm kind of falling into a normal box. And I'd rather be unique and different. I understand that. I feel like you experience the most success when you're just, like, being who you are. Yep. Because, like, yeah, I mean, you can experience false success when you're trying to uh, keep up a facade, so mm -hmm. they say. Um, but I don't think it's sustainable, you know, um, because it gets tiring. Um, it gets, uh, I don't, just draining. It's like, do, don't you get tired of acting all the time? Yeah. And, and I've met a lot of people who I know, like, that's not who you are. Yeah. It's like, why are you smiling so hard at me when yeah. I know this isn't it? The, this isn't it. Like, I was just talking about these people. It's not real. It's crazy. Yeah, like, fake. oh my God. Yeah. I once had a situation yeah. where I was like, oh my God, how are you? It's so good to see you. You're always busy. Like, mm -hmm. I can never get in touch with you. And she's like, yeah, and you're not. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that, that did it for again, me. Once pressure point. <laughs> <laughs> pressure point. <laughs> that did it for me. Yeah. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I thought we were fun. Yeah, but we're not, though. Mm -mm. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, that's pretty much all I have 
Thank you for coming through, Jordan, for real. Thank you. I'm super happy to yeah. be here. Yeah, please come back. Oh, happily. Um, let everybody know where they can follow you. I, I mm -hmm. put it up on the screen, but oh, okay. people don't people don't be paying attention. That's that. fair. That's yeah. fair. Um, on Instagram, you can find me at Jordan Leftwich, and on TikTok, you can find me at your local glazed potato. Oh, for real? Yeah. Oh, so wow. serious. Uh, and that's not a spam or anything? No. Nope. That's you. I need to make a spam. Okay. It's your local glazed potato because oh, okay. I feel like I look like a potato and when I put on makeup, I'm glazed. I love All right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, thank y'all so much for watching this episode. Love y'all. And I'll see y'all on the next one. Yeah. Woo!